My name is Brian Chagoya. I'm currently 40 years old, but I was diagnosed with stage four gastric cancer at the age of 38. I was a full-time fine art preparator. I had worked for galleries and museums, handling art, hanging the art shows. I'm married, we have two daughters, one's gonna be nine and, and one just turned two. We were living the typical young family married life. Towards the end of 2018, I was getting ready to sign myself up for some health insurance. I ended up falling through the systemic cracks, not having insurance sometime around January of 2019. And I thought, well, you know what? We're expecting our second daughter in June. I'm just gonna ride it out and wait until she's born and get on health insurance at that time. In January of 2019, I started to experience some indigestion, heartburn, some difficulty eating, chewing, swallowing. I was starting to lose some weight. I was less hungry. I had lost 30 to 40 pounds. Early June, I was at work one day and I just, the pain was too much and I was calling my wife and I said, you know, I'm just gonna go into ER. Whatever the bill's gonna be, we'll just deal with it. They did an ultrasound and, and then a CT, and I was there all night, and that's where they broke the news to me. They were like 90, 95% sure I had cancer, but they needed a biopsy. My immediate reaction was just rejection, denial, like this can't be, I have a daughter. Parents with young children don't get cancer. That's, that's can't, this can't be. So it was sort of a mixture of despair, denial, shock. So after my initial diagnosis, I was on a waiting list. So I'm holding on to this shred of hope. Meanwhile, at home, I am in immense pain. I lasted about a week at home before uh, I remember calling my sister, who said, you know, if, if you need to go to an ER again, you should go and I'll take you. That's, I feel, that's what saved my life because I did it. I had my sister drive me there. I was basically in the hospital bed. I was in and out of sleep. I lost the ability to walk, to eat. Uh, I was in immense pain in, in my abdomen area. My sister was with me every day. She was working not only, not only just giving me the emotional support because my wife was in another hospital that week giving birth. My sister works in the medical uh, administration area and she was able to help me navigate to get myself back on medical insurance. I feel like my sister was sort of a guardian angel for me during that time. She was able to get me set up to see an oncologist. I, I still see the same oncologist now, and she drove me straight to White Memorial Hospital, where I got to meet Rosalind, my newborn daughter, for a little bit, and then off home I went to rest. And about a week later, I had a port calf put in to start receiving chemo. I was already set up with City of Hope, and I started chemotherapy at City of Hope with a treatment called Folfox and uh, I received that treatment every other week from January 2020 well into November 2020. I had a lot of stability. I was starting to gain some weight. I was practicing yoga and meditation. October of 2020, we did another scan, and sure enough, there was progression again. And that's when my doctor brought up the idea of NHER2. And her two became approved last week of January, and we were on it. We called City Hope the same day it was approved, and that's what we did early February of 2021. I've started in her two, and I've been on that since. May of 2021, I had a scan that showed uh, another continued decrease, shrinkage of the tumors. So we're on the right track. The in her two is working, and I'm grateful because it's not. It's not the worst or heaviest kind of treatment that one could go through, or thankfully, I, I do get side effects, fatigue and nausea being the main ones, but I can handle it. I have, I have strategies and ways I can manage it. I have a supportive family and, and home life here. So I feel like I'm in a place that's very stable and consistent, and the, the goal is to keep it that way, keep that stability and continue to work towards improving. All you're left with at the end is just your own sort of inner belief that you're gonna be okay. And you have to truly believe it. 